It's a beautiful day outside. It just stopped raining, the sun came out, and I have a little bit of time to film a question and answer video. So today for Mouse Trap Monday, I'm gonna answer the number one question I get on my YouTube channel. And that is, how did I ever get to this point where I'm posting videos on YouTube about rodent traps? What got me into catching rodents? And how did I take my YouTube channel to a point where I have over a million subscribers and I'm working on 300 million views? It just blows my mind and it was really by accident. Now I admit catching rodents is a really weird subject to form a YouTube channel around and I did not start out that way. And getting this question so often makes me realize that a lot of YouTube viewers don't know the history of my channel. Over 600,000 of the subscribers joined in the past year, so you don't know about the six years before that where I posted videos on completely different subjects. So I'm gonna do an introduction. My name is Sean Woods, I'm 37 years old, I live in Western Oregon, I have a beautiful family, a wife and three kids, I work a full-time job 40 hours a week, and on the side I post videos to my YouTube channel. And recently, YouTube has become a huge part of my life. All my free time is spent filming and editing videos. So a little history, seven years ago I posted my first video on YouTube, and back then my channel name was called Historic Hunter because I love learning about history, and I love learning about primitive technology. Now there was a major shift in my YouTube channel when I posted a video about a primitive survival trap, one native people have used to survive by catching rodents called the Paiute Deadfall. That video was the first video I had that really went viral, meaning it quickly got over a million views. Now I was working so hard with my free time weeks and weeks to make these other primitive archery videos, and they didn't get that much attention, but to get a video that had over a million views was amazing to me. So I posted another trap video, and that video also went viral. So I accidentally discovered that people really like seeing videos about rodent traps. Now it was about that time when I started getting a lot more viewers that I got a lot of hate mail, like really horrible hate mail. And that was not something I expected. But what really got me was I received a message on my personal email. Someone took the time to find my contact information and send me this message saying they hated what I was doing. And they were gonna have me shut down. They contacted YouTube, and they said that I was gonna be kicked off of YouTube. I didn't believe them, I didn't think much of it, but a few days later I received a message from YouTube that several of my videos had been flagged and they were age restricted and one of them was even removed completely. That just blew my mind. You could have a video that was so popular, over a million views, and it only took one person complaining to have that video shut down. I was really frustrated. I didn't know what to do and I came to a conclusion. I could either stop posting these videos or I could double down. And because they wanted to silence those kinds of videos and shut me up, I decided instead I was going to post a video on mousetraps every Monday. I was still doing my primitive archery stuff, my primitive technology the rest of the week, but on Monday I do a rodent trap video, mostly because people said I couldn't do it and I don't like being told what to do. Well, as I posted those videos on Mondays, I realized that every culture in history and every country has had a rodent problem, developed their own traps. There are over 4,000 mousetrap patents. People are inventing new ones all the time. So the subject's basically endless and people like watching the videos. And I had another major shift around the adpocalypse time when my primitive survival and hunting videos were all getting flagged, demonetized, or age restricted. I'm guessing it was somehow caught up in weapon making and they don't want weapon making on YouTube. I couldn't understand it. Even twisting plant fibers into a bowstring was age restricted. That just blows my mind. So I stopped posting the primitive survival videos and started doing more mousetrap videos. And when I did that, the views, the subscribers, the channel just exploded. So even though my passion of primitive technology is something I'd like to be doing, I'm having so much more success with the mouse traps, and I really enjoy that as well. Now it can be really expensive. I've spent over $20,000 on eBay for antique vintage mouse traps, mouse traps from all around the world. But there's a huge variety, and I have over 100 videos I can't wait to post. I also love it when YouTube viewers invent new mouse traps and send me them. So reflecting back on 2018, it's been a year of huge growth for me, also a lot of frustration. But I think I've developed a format that's working both with YouTube and the viewers. So thank you so much for supporting me. Now last week when I reached a million subscribers, I asked for questions and I'm doing a contest. I've already contacted the first winner, Danny G. He's getting a hat and a mouse trap. Keep sending your messages and comments. I wanna know what you guys think. I receive over a thousand comments a day, so I can't possibly answer everyone, but I go through them and try to get an idea of what people are curious about, and I'm gonna answer those in weekly videos. And I have a lot more great Mousetrap Monday videos coming soon. I don't post only on Monday. I post Mousetrap Monday videos on Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. And I also post additional videos on my website that I can't show on YouTube. Thank you so much for your support, especially for the viewers that have been there since the historic Hunter early days.